Yo, welcome back. It's Icor here. And today in Re Legend, well, basically, I thought I'd finish off the my season three with an episode. I mean, why not? They announced, uh, and I should say for anyone that doesn't know, uh, Magnus Games finally announced a release date for the 1.0 update, and that is on September 5th. So, I thought I'd just finish off my Season 3 here with, well, my last episode. And I figured, why not, you know, take a look around, see the things I've done, and, you know, just kind of admire everything and, you know, <laughs> take a good look before I can't use this save again. Because, yeah, with the 1.0 patch, I won't be able to use this save. And I figured, yeah, might as well take a look at all, and take a look around and and get every and just I guess keep it all for uh, memories. Why not? So um, anyway, this is the day of the fish festival or the fish race, I should say. And I thought maybe I'd just try to get to the uh, um, the countdown party as well here. So I figured what I'd do is I'd just maybe go participate in the fish festival a little bit and then, you know, just go to the next day and, yeah, check out the New Year's Day festival as well because then I can basically say I did one year over the course of this series. Why not, you know? So, um, basically, yeah, just looking around my Magnus, I got a lot of stuff in my field there as you can kind of saw I I planted a lot of stuff sometime earlier on in this season but I've got you know dryas and bloop here that I you know some of my first few Magnus in this series dryas was of course my starter Draco Newt um, putter was basically the second thing I got because yeah <laughs> you get um, puffs early on and then bloop you know I wanted a healer and then I went on from there you know finally get to the temple I get stubs and then moo I just got you know out in the wild and and then there's prince and drogue drogue is my uh, second draco newt I got and then magus is my third draco newt I got and it looks like I need to feed them I don't want them to starve before the end, so I will feed them, just because. So then, I haven't named my jelly bit, and I did name Windsor. So I should think of a name of a jelly bit, but he can rename. He can be na unnamed for now. <laughs> uh, Strife, yes, I didn't really use him very much. Brawly actually was pretty well used, honestly probably strong and Cranicle I didn't really use him too much either and he's unnamed as well I, I didn't name a lot of my Magnus Dune Pooch I thought I had name a name for this in my second season I can't remember now I should have looked Seas um yeah I didn't really use him much <laughs> uh, I should have been used some of these a little bit more. I did use Dune Pooch quite a bit. Dune Pooch was uh, a pretty good Magnus. They're pretty strong. Uh, Humbird, I didn't really get much of a chance to use it, although I did use a Humbird in my second season, and they were pretty good. They're nice. It does have a nice heal, so that's that's a good thing. And they're, they're of course, kind of cute. <laughs> Despite the fact they have no legs, which is a little odd. <laughs> Uh, Momochi, of course, Momochi are cute. Um, I haven't actually used this one this time much. I didn't get to evolve it either. I, I should have. I mean, I could I could just you know throw something at it. Actually, I have the the fish to evolve it. I could just do that. Now I can't remember what it takes to evolve it though. Um, and Buddy, I actually was pretty strong. Cackthorn is pretty pretty strong, but um, like I like I said in my video on it their attack can make you easily miss the magnus that you're trying to attack and they basically can't hit things that are in close range to them very easily other than if you like use the beam 
or their AOE attack, but the beam and the AOE attacks take a little bit to charge up. And my bushwhacker, I didn't use him too much either, honestly. I probably should. I like bunny rabbits. And Skellington, well, he, you know, he does look like Skellington, I guess. Kind of, in the face. A little bit. Somewhat. <laughs> Uh, I didn't really use him much either, but um, as you can see, I didn't use a lot of my Magnus much. Uh, Magus I used a lot. Magus is pretty good. Um, Drogue is pretty good too. Um, Magus and Drogue are both good for ore and, uh, and wood collecting. Drogue is good for ore collecting. Magus is good for wood collecting. Brawly is good for wood collecting too, though, so they're all pretty formidable here. Um, I didn't really get to use my jelly bit too much. I did evolve it, but I didn't actually go out and see how good it was. And Strife, I think I used it a little bit. I think. Not as much as I would have liked. Uh, they are pretty strong, though, with their magic attacks. They're, yeah, magic attacks are pretty good on them. And then... I got another Windhorn, because I was going to go the other path. Because, I mean, why not, you know? And then an Oraton, I, yeah, I haven't really done much with Oraton, so I should do that in Series 4. And then Sabuk, uh, yeah, I just got this Sabuk, I think, in the last episode. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a new Sabuk. But, um, yeah, the, I mean, a lot of Magnus are, are good. Of course, they're all good in their own ways, um, but I haven't used as many as I would have liked. I should have, I should vary the amount of ones I use a little bit more in Season 4. I think I'll do that. Okay, so that's kind of an overview of my Magnus. Um, yeah, a lot of them don't have names, but <laughs> oh well. Uh, let's see, I will feed them. Let me see, actually I can probably just go around here feeding them quick. They do give me a lot of items. I'm not really brushing them, petting them, stuff like that. Just going to feed them. Uh, here you go, Moo. There we go. Head over here. And just feed him. So I've mostly just been using um, water crops on things like my jelly bit, Magus, my... Uh, uh, prins there And it works pretty well and you use meat on things like drogue Windsor takes logs, but um, let me see here The old logs that you pick up in your field those work for feeding him. So that's one good thing to to use It's actually it's fairly useful because you can just pick up the old logs and feed it to your wind horn or I should say your ward horn because, yeah. Uh, there's a couple other things that eat logs, too. I think Cackthorn eats logs. <laughs> Buddy's not hungry. Humbird, um, I think they're... Were they water crops? Now I can't remember. Oh, looks like he liked it. Okay. And Momochi are water crops, too. There we go. Of course, Momochi have that little tail wiggle when they eat, so yeah, it's kind of cute. <laughs> okay, were any of these hungry? I didn't actually remember. Uh, yeah, there we, there we go. Windhorn. Now, Windhorn actually likes crops when you don't throw them at the wall. There we go. And Oratun and Sabak both like ore. So I have some iron ore on me right now. Um, you know, let's, I do have a stone on me and let me try. Uh, I just want to see, I'm curious. Hold this. And come on guys, why'd you have to go in? Oraton. Okay, Oraton likes stone. So anybody that takes ore to feed, let me see here. Look in my book, uh, Magnus. Uh, I might as well go to just Oraton here. Let's see, Oraton. Yeah, any Magnus that says ore here in the feeding area, you can probably just feed them a stone from your field and that looks like that'll actually feed them. So that's a good cheap way to to feed your 
your Magnus that like stones and ore. Uh, let me see. Sabak is the same way. Yes. Uh, who would want to feed it iron ingot? <laughs> Only if you're trying to increase its happiness. If you want to increase its, um, you know, its affection for you faster, you, I think you're supposed to, you know, feed it things they like. So it gets significantly more expensive though, and hard to keep up with. Okay, let's see. Um, Brawly's hungry. So usually Brawly just has meat. So does Dune Pooch. There we go. Seize takes water crops. Strife will take water crops too. And Cranicle actually takes land crops. So yeah. There we go. Grab that. Okay. Now I'll head out here and head to the fishing area. Uh, let's, I think it's actually over here, the angler's area. Right here. And then let's do, I'll do one of the fish race. A couple, maybe one or two of the fish race. We'll see. Well, I'll probably only have enough time for one. So let's just get Pia. As long as Pia's here. Yeah, there he is. So let's do the fish race once, just to, you know, show, uh, showcase it. What a fine day to fish. Yes, it is a fine day to fish, I guess, Pia. Talk. There are all sorts of fishes in the water, try different locations. Let's see, I'm the type of person that would fish and throw the fish back because I like the fishies. Um, I wouldn't want to catch them with a hook though, so I might catch them with a net because that is less um, painful for them. Okay, so fish racing or pearl shop. Now, the pearl shop is actually nice. It sells some nice stuff. Uh, the fish necklace is a nice thing to have for fishing. Gives you 5% more fishing power, but you can win this from the treasure of the sea uh, competition. Actually, it just says it right here. You can win it from the treasure of the sea competition. So I won it. Uh, that's how I got mine. I didn't buy it. Um, apparently you can buy a skilled pole, which is not really worth it because you can <laughs> you can upgrade to that. <laughs> Same thing with this, the great pole. Now actually the super sizer for 20 of those uh, 20 pearls is actually pretty cheap. That's that's actually pretty good. The premium fish pellets are very useful because they feed up to 15 days per pack. So yeah, 15 days of feeding your small fishies. That's actually good. Uh, the medium fish feed here is 10 days per pack so that's not too bad but the deluxe fish feed feeds your medium and large fish up to 15 days per pack so that's actually pretty good that's and that's actually what i've been using my pearls on and i do have eight pearls so um let's see i want this pia give me two of those there we go yeah <laughs> okay there we go. Okay, let's do one fish race because yeah, I probably should get to the next day. I don't want to. I don't want this episode to be too long. Okay, fish racing. Now, fish racing is pretty fun. It really is. Uh, what you want to do though is look for ones with high, high stats. The highest stats you have. Um, I tend to do it on hard because that's the way you get the most money. Now, my brickle seems to be pretty good. Uh, let's see. I had some that were pretty good. Yeah. Now, Jiggle is pretty good. I I was using this, but this Sun Call actually looks kind of better. Hmm. Let's let's use this. Oh, my my Harper was the the best one I had, but this Jiggle actually seems even better. Hmm. Interesting. But the Sun Call, I'll go with that because I think I had I think I got this Sun Call. Um. I don't know when I got the sun call. Dash. And you let it go early enough so that it doesn't go into rest mode where it gets pooped out. But never let the bar get full. You always want to make sure you're, you know, boosting fast enough. But you don't want to hit the red either because otherwise that will be worse. This sun call is actually pretty good. It's got a nice amount of stamina there. And yeah, you can just get this almost up to full. You don't want to let it go too, you know, too high to all the way full or else you're going to end up just kind of wasting some time. Now, I'm not sure 
the it, it'll probably get down to red about right here so I'm trying to stay above that but yeah you can just I mean I don't know if they've changed this in you know with 1.0 but uh, for the moment I don't have to do anything other than just press space bar to dash there we go and just let it kind of run on its own that's what it does although I've, I've lapped the others quite a bit how dare you stay ahead of me stay behind me you're not supposed to get ahead there we go first yes of course so that's nice and I got 20 yep 20 for being first so yeah you could buy one whole supersizer each time with each race if you win so that's pretty good on hard Okay, and then, uh, let's see. In here. No. Oh, well, that, okay, fine. Pearl shop. Now, I wanted to just look at the fish racing. I'll just go back off of here if I can. I don't know if I can. Uh, now, you see, I have it on easy right here. Now, you get a trophy for each mode. So, if you've won, like I won with my fillet in easy mode. I got a little trophy here up on the upper right. Uh, I've, I don't know if I did normal mode. Does it, oh yeah, I did normal mode with Harpro. So I got a little trophy like that. And then on hard mode, I got trophies as well. Trophy with my Harpro, trophy with Suncall as well. So that's actually nice. Now, I, okay, okay, it looks like I can get back. Just hit escape. Yes, quit fish racing. I don't need to fish race anymore. But, uh, the fish racing is pretty fun. It really is. Okay, so, let's see here. There isn't really too much left for me to do here. I mean, yeah, I'm not really going to advance my save really much anymore. I, you know, it's kind of pointless since I won't be able to keep and use this save anymore anyway. But I think I will at least get to the next day here and see what the countdown party is like because that will be kind of fun. So, yeah. Let me get back to my farm and get to the next day and bring you back when it's actually almost time for the festival. Okay, I figured I'd actually bring you back anyway to show you my room because uh, after the last episode I wasn't finished uh, decorating. So I thought, yeah, this is what I, this is what I finished up. With. I ended up with this. Uh, I put that little chair here, the little chair there, this little bowl-like thing here. I excluded that big furnace because it was just um, too big and <laughs> it was unnecessary. Um, I did all put all the plushies here because, yeah, I like plushies. They are very nice. <laughs> and a dresser that is unusable. Uh, <laughs> and I put the big bed too. So yeah, it's... I, I kind of like the design, I guess, because it's nice. It's kind of fun. Um, like the green, the green floor is, and the walls are pretty nice too. So, yeah, it's interesting. So um, let's see here. Now there was, there is this. So let's read this because this is probably for the countdown party. Okay, dear Zyko, tis the last day of this year, and the oldest of Voka traditions is a countdown till the year begins anew. We will be holding a party tonight to welcome a brand new year together. It will be a splendid opportunity to break some ice. Literally, with winter finally coming to an end, we can look forward to warming weather and greener scenery. I really can't wait for the coming of spring, the new grass and budding flowers. If it interests you, please come to Town Square between 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Moku. Okay, well, yes, that's, that's nice. It is. And Moku is actually back because I defeated Agris too. <laughs> because before with some of the events, it was signed Moku, even though Moku was supposed to be missing. <laughs> but uh, like I said, who knows? Maybe he signed it before he went missing. It's possible. He could have wrote the letters beforehand. Okay, let's uh, showcase my fish because yeah, I have some fish. I didn't name any of them. I think, yeah, you can name them. So I could, but it's like, it's kind of like Pokemon. If you, 
uh, like give a custom name to your Pokemon, or in this case, fish, you won't fully remember the name that it uh, that it's actually called. Like this is a Hackrill, and this is a Burkle. So you know, if you give it a nickname, you kind of end up forgetting. You know, you get, it starts clashing in your mind sometimes. So, yeah, so sometimes I'm reluctant to name them. But um, actually, this clomper is pretty cool. It is. But uh, supposedly there is going to be new fish as well. I mean, of course there's going to be new fish. Oh, and it sh also shows um, up in the upper right over here the crown or the award you've got for this fish based on the, the you know, what race it's won in. So, yeah, and now I've got, you know, some larger fish. I've got Char, of course. I've been naming my large fish after Gundam characters because uh, why not? <laughs> uh, it just started from Char. Uh, so I've got, Sh I've got Char, I've got Dozel, I've got Amuro. Um, I was going to name the Gannis uh, Cassilia, but I, I just never did. And now I can't remember how to spell it. <laughs> because Cassilia's name is spelled a little awkwardly, and I'd have to look it up. Uh, Suncall is, is kind of cool. And Jiggle kind of looks like, um, what? The dragon in Dragon Ball Z? Yeah, you could say that. A Chinese dragon is possible. And then Rabbit Ray, Fillet. Yeah, so I got some nice fish, but uh, of course, the Voka Shark is my favorite, of course. So let's see here. Looking around. Now, my the little my small fish are in here. They tend to swim around in here, so I mean, of course, they're supposed to swim around in here. And yeah, you can come over here. You can. But um, I'll head over here. Let's see, I'm gonna get on Char. Oh, there's my fillet. Sometimes I can't find my other fish in this area. Uh, I might as well just get rid of these. I probably have uh, plants that are done, but I, I'm probably not gonna pick them. It's, you know, more waste of time than what it's worth. Now, let's see, where are you guys? My fish tend to get lost in my field or they run away or something. I don't know. I don't want to go out. No, I didn't want to go out the door. Uh, let me back in the door. Okay. Actually, I should look at the mini-map out there. See if they change it. Okay, so yeah, there's there's them. Swimming. At least they were all in more so a nice location. In one specific location, kind of. Let's head out here. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, the doors are a little bit quirky sometimes. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me hit this. Yeah, this is this is good. So, Shadow Isle is over here. Volca Coast, Volca Town, the Wilk Woods, Shipwreck Island, Oratun Enclave, Fountain of Youth, supposedly where you can unlock Aquila, which I really want to do in 1.0. I have to find, I figure out how to do that. Uh, Obelisk Platform, Skull Island, and the Everdust. I'm not sure what Skull Island and Obelisk Platform were ever for. They haven't, you know, they don't have a use yet. So, it will be in 1.0. So, yeah, that's the map. We'll see what the map looks like in 1.0. Hopefully, Shadow Island will still be here. I think it will be, because they're, um, they've seemed to gain a fondness for it, in a sense, because it's still there. And you can get shadow crystals and get a random shadow magnus if you get 666 shadow crystals from defeating the magnus on shadow island you can get a random magnus that you can open and get the magnus or shadow magnus i should say so yeah it's it's pretty nice okay so let's let's just head around Volca town quickly just to look around and see what else changes there's the hot spring okay get up here and ah okay so this is this is the new year's 
festival decorations. I see. Interesting. Big ice blocks. Okay, that's cool. And big ice pillars, too. Was that Gunther that did that? I wonder. So, let's head over here. Uh, these juice machines? They are. They are. <laughs> uh, okay, head over here. Just look around, see if anything changes in this area. So yeah, there's Lloyd's house, Lloyd's standing outside, Karen's house, and Len's house as well. And Karen is way down here. Hello, Karen. You're working on wood? Are you excited for the countdown? I'm so ready. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'll grab this just because. Len is out here looking out at the water. This year was a good run, and I was so, so ready for a new start. Yeah, um, I guess. And I swear this is Len's outhouse or something. You never know. <laughs> Maybe he just stores wood there. You know, but who knows? It, it could still be an outhouse. Okay, yeah, 10, 9, 8, oh wait, what time is it right now? Yeah, Lloyd is always sleeping, so. <laughs> okay, head out here. We'll go up by Gunther's house. I should just be riding a Magnus around because it is a little bit faster. And there's Hugo, Edna. I, I mean, I don't know what they all say. Surprisingly, fewer townsfolk visit me this year. I guess everyone just gets healthier every year. Yeah, they probably do. Who knows? Shiny unmelted ice cube. I'm going to get that from Moku. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, head up here. And this is Hugo's house with uh, Hugo's daughter, Rose. Another year goes by and there's still no prince to take me away. How long do I need to wait? Um, probably quite a while, Rose, because, yeah, I think you're going to have a hard time finding... Uh, some prince that is, you know, your type. There. And this is Yuri's house. She decides to move here after you find her in the, or after you help her actually in the, in the forest. And this is Gunther's house. And then that's out. So I head back over here. And we'll see Moku's house is over to the right here. And then Moku's out. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way over to talk to him. Let's go over here. They just kind of say random stuff anyway. This is the area with... Uh, I think this is the beach. Oh, hello, Hawk. You're right here, eh? Okay. Oh no, this is... Yeah, this is the beach area. So the beach is here. And not much on the beach. I mean, yeah. It's probably going to be pretty much the same. Not really going to be much different. I'm going to get on Draz because, yeah, it'll, it'll run faster. There we go. So head over to... Down to the angler area here. Down and around. Because, yeah, the angler area is where Pia lives. And the dock is down here. So the dock is right over here. And, yeah, it kind of sticks out in the water. Of course, a dock sticks out in the water. Surprising, isn't it? Okay. Head up here to where Amelia is. And run up here, because this is Amelia's house. And Amelia is outside. I did not mean to go into her house. I didn't think I was even near that, so I don't know how that... Yeah. Okay. Head over here. Now, this never really was anything. So, that's probably for future. That, maybe that's the accessory shop up there. Who knows? Because there will be an accessory shop. This is Mori's house. And Shio's. Okay, so head down here, and yeah, that's pretty much it for overlooking the town. Um, I'll, I guess I'll get to night here, 6 p.m. Let it just, yeah, get to 6 p.m. and bring you back when I start the festival. Yeah. Okay, it's 6 o'clock. Let's see. I wanted to do some of this stuff while it was, 
it was light out. Okay, so... Hello, Moku. What do you have to say for me? Or say to me. Greetings, Ikor. Glad that you came. Time flies. Just a blink of an eye and the final day of the year is today. You know, I feel that way myself, Moku. I really do. Looking back on all the things we've done this year, ah, they will all be part of our memories. Yes, Moku, you are completely right. I know. I know. I'm sorry, Moku. I won't see you again. Yes. I'm leaving today, Moku. For, well, a new place. A better place. A place where your cologne will be hanging around. <laughs> uh. Oh, speaking of memories. We got a really cool memory game going on here. Ah. Ha. Do you want to play? Uh, of course I'll play, Moku. So, yes. It's a memory game. Hmm. Okay. Great. Do your best. We give a lot of cash prize here. Okay. Cash prize. Okay. Yeah. Cash. At the beginning of each round, numbers will reveal in descending order. Three, two, one. Okay. Smash the ice cubes in descending order. Uh, okay. Okay. Interesting. If a if player make a mistake, reveal all ice cubes number again and continue. You have only three chances. Uh huh. Okay. Let's see then. This will be. I wonder if I'm timed. We'll see. Play. Okay. Three. Two. One. Okay. Three. Two. One. Okay, your laughing Moku will be somewhat annoying. <laughs> okay. Three. Two. And one. There we go. Okay. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Okay, so five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Oh, seven of them. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Ooh, this is getting harder, that's for sure. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so seven. Six, five, four. Now I'm drawing a blank. Three, two, one, or three, two, mm. three, two, one. Ooh, I got, I got lucky on that. Ten. Oh no. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay. I'm not gonna get this. Ten. Nine. Ah, nuts. <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, what? Nine. Oh, now I completely forgot it all. Okay, that's that's probably it. <laughs> Uh, um, hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably done. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ten, nine, eight. Ah, oh, we're stuck. No. <laughs> uh, 
seven. Okay, seven is here. Uh, six. No, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well done, Psychor. I didn't know you have such good memories here. Uh, it, <laughs> it wasn't that good. I forgot the one and it messed me up completely. Have you been eating healthy and proper sleep habit recently? I bet you do. Um, honestly, I probably not as much sleep as I should. Now, this is just a game, after all. What matters is the memories you have throughout the year. Yes, that's true, Moku. It is. It's really true. Whether it's sad, joy, busy, chill, anything. I bet it will be worth treasuring after years later. Yes, you're, Mo you're right, Moku. You are right. Oh, the countdown is starting already. Okay, let's see. What's this like? Haha. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, a firework. Some fireworks, yes. Okay. And what was that? Like a picture? Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, it's nice. Nice way to end off this series. Really, it is. This season, I should say, or whatever. Oh, okay, so... Festival reward. Here are the rewards for, for your participation. So I, I'm not fully sure what it is, but I'll claim it. And 7,500G. Okay. I bet I could have gotten something better if I would have completed it. So yeah, I didn't get it fully completed, but uh, oh well. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. I, that looked like a table of some sort. Let me see. Um. Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, shiny ice cube hat. Oh, it's a hat. Okay. Let me put it in my costume slot. Um, let's see. Let's see, right here. Ah! <laughs> it just looks weird. Uh, it looks like a, a Moai on Easter Island. <laughs> uh, kind of. Okay, that's just weird. <laughs> but it, it's nice too as well. Okay, I'll, I'll take that off for now. <laughs> No, please, let me take it off. There we go. Uh, okay. I do really like these angel wings that they gave, though. That That's nice. But, um, yeah. That's probably it for this showcase and this series. It's, yeah, it was nice having all this stuff in this series. Uh, you know, taming my Magnus and, you know, all that. So, yeah, I'll definitely remember these Magnus and probably bring them back in Season 4. There we go. Put that right there by my witch hat and stuff. Uh, yeah, my storage. I have a lot of junk in my storage. And I was keeping seeds for the next season, even though it was only, like, one bag. Yeah, I probably could have, should have bought, kept more, but I didn't. Um, I do have seven Mangogos, though. And then all my Magnus parts over here and stuff so yeah but um yeah that's it for this basically this end showcase and the end of the year um let's see yeah it's the last day i can quick go to the next day just to see i haven't i don't think i actually saw new year's day so i could do that quickly but otherwise it's probably it for this episode it's pretty good it's fun so, um, yeah, if you like this episode, hit that like button, and the series, hit that like button, because, yeah, I really appreciate it, and it really helps us out a lot. Let's see what this says. Happy New Year! How did you find the last year? Did you have many exciting adventures, or perhaps did you make great new friends? Well, whatever it may be, we are glad that you are now part of our Voca family. Farm tending and Magnus taming aside, I'm sure you are thrilled to venture into the new year. We uh, we all are. So let's gather around the cafeteria trader's corner at 6 p.m. tonight to celebrate a great start to the year ahead of us. See you there. Okay, so basically, it's more so a celebration. And yeah, spring, all my crops didn't make it. <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> but that's to be expected. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it for this episode. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, okay. Gun yeah, Gunther would be coming, but... <laughs> oh, well. So, yeah, it's... I guess it's just the cafeteria on the second year. Like, probably a food thing, I guess. Like a, a celebration or something. And then magenta, yeah. Let's just get over here by the cafeteria. But, um, yeah. 
If you like this episode, hit that like button. I think I already said that and stuff, but um, share it, you know. Leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of the series, what you think of the game. If you're hyped for, you know, the 1.0 patch. And yeah. If you enjoyed it, yeah. Subscribe as well. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for watching the entire series. And I'll see you next time in season four. Coming after they release 1.0. And I thought maybe I wouldn't leave you hanging with the festival or so here. Let's see. No, I don't want you, Rose. Get out of here. I want Moku. There we go. Greetings, Icor. Happy New Year to you. You're excited. Are you excited to see the new year will bring? Possibilities are endless. Anyway, I believe that the only proper way to start the year is to have a delicious feast in the company of friends and family. Have you talked to everyone here? They seem excited about their new year resolutions. Um, no, I haven't. Okay. So yeah, um, pretty much everyone just gathers here, and uh, that's about all it is. Just a gathering. Okay. Not a not a um, not a festival of any sort or anything like that. Just a gathering to eat a feast. But huh, yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>